What's up guys? Dan Matheny here, presenting to you kind of like a semi-review of Devon Shimara, which is Debian testing without System D. I probably did not pronounce that right, but I'm having a good time, so I may as well make a video of it. I've kind of gotten obsessed with these non-System D operating systems because they work really well, and that's certainly the case with Devon. I feel like, you know, Debian with System D isn't as snappy as Devon with uh, SysB init. You have also OpenRC available and Run It, which was just added recently to Devon. And I'll show you my bling, my termy. Let's activate a term. Yep, I still use my LOL cat, Neil Fetch. So, you know, but I'll go ahead and show you some tips. These are some quick tips on what you can do. I got a terminal up already, so you need a pull kit. Like for instance, if you want to run Synaptic, you know, which I have right here, I have a pull kit front end installed. You know, so it's going to ask for my password, and I love Synaptic. Okay, so, but that's what a pull kit is. It's basically something that talks to computer says, hey, you know, this guy's okay. We'll let him access this program with the secret password. Open sesame. Okay, I'm being goofy, but uh, that's my normal self. Anyway, um, you know that's what a pull kit is. To explain it in a simple way, it's just telling the computer, hey, this guy's authorized to use this program. Instead of typing sudo, you know, blah 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 every time. Anyway, if you're on Debian, you know, you just did a Debian net install Deb of regular Debian testing or Debian Buster. This is also going to help you out. So basically what you're going to type is sudo apt install mate pull kit dash bin. Okay, and that's that's the pull kit front end that I use that I found. And this will help out uh, with some programs that need your password when you're, you know, either burning an ISO on a USB stick or you're opening Synaptic with you know my browser and other programs I've found Devon to work just as good as Debian um, with Artix same thing everything worked as good I think there was a little more critiquing on certain programs and browsers that I noticed with Artix um, but you know I don't need a vert manager I probably will eventually install vert manager I've talked about it but I just need to do it but that way I can go through the installation process show what I do. I love doing mainline installs and I recommend doing that I think because you have control over what you want to install and the desktop is desktop to me. I think that's where it starts to be for me. You know but IWM and DWM are my favorites. They're just my favorites. Uh, but everyone has their reasons for their window managers and desktops but to me you know the most important is you know the other components for your operating system. You know FreeBSD played around with FreeBSD also and um, I'm getting off topic a little bit but you know that's one helpful tip but I'll get to other tips in a second but if you are trying to figure out FreeBSD Robo Noogie on YouTube is someone I recommend but that's where a lot of my inspiration came from really because you know I try Arctic so I really like it I like Void um, but Devon, I, I really, really like. I think it's my favorite out of these in its systems. But yeah, that's one tip. But basically, when you're doing a mainline install, it, if you're doing a sysb init, I'll show you something else. If you're doing sysb init, it's different. So let's just say, you know, you want to start, you want to start or a stop a service. So let's just say, you know, sudo, you would type in sudo, you know, service. You know, network manager start if you want to start and then you know stop if you want to stop it or restart if you want to restart it. So, but that's that. Um, there really isn't much difference other than I can't uh, install Alacrity. I can install only Kitty, but I can install ST if I want to. I can compile it and install it. And that's different. How you do it in Debian? That's fine. No, that's not a big deal because like I can wrap my head around that. I think at this point I've comprehended a lot more about how everything works. I think I'm just having fun on this adventure right now. And I'm going to just run with it as much as I can. 
but yeah, these non-system D operating systems are great. But it's still the same process, you know, as e login D with your login and logout commands. With this, with ICWM right here, when you install it on something like this, it's going to use the system D commands for shutdown and reboot, like system CTL, you know, power off or system CTL reboot. But all you got to do is open up. So we're going to open this up. And basically, I, I know it's around uh, the bottom somewhere, so yeah, it's around the bottom. So I'm gonna type that, and let's just see where it is. I know it's here somewhere, but it's pretty much you pretty much have to uncomment, you know, the shutdown and restart and whatever commands you want to enable. So yeah, we're coming close to it. So you got the log out. It's actually in the 600s, but anyway, it doesn't matter. So basically, you know, if you're using e login d these would be the commands that you're using and pretty much devon comes installed with e login d comes installed with it so you know a lot of programs on here are going to run fine you know that's been my experience there's not really much critiquing i mean i got brave running on here it's running fine and this is devon shimara like i said you know, i'm probably not the best at uh pronouncing words but I don't have a lot of Linux people to talk to. I'm pretty much, you know, this is my own time. This is Dan Matheny's time with Linux, with GNU Linux, with FreeBSD, with whatever it is I feel like tinkering around with. This is Dan Matheny's time. But since I can't do a lot of physical activity and I got two hernias, I may as well take advantage. But anyway, I'll just show my Exonet RC. All right, so I'll just, uh, you know, I'll just show this again. It's the same for uh, mainline installed Devon. Okay, but Debian, you can get away with just doing, you know, exec your window manager or whatever that is. But you now with your uh, lo e login D, you know, if you want to mount your file managers and stuff like that, you're pretty much going to run this command right here, which is exec dbus dash launch dash dash exit with session uh, slash user slash bin slash whatever window manager or desktop environment you use. And it's going to be different. For each desktop environment on what command to use so that is something you're gonna have to read up on and think about it that's pretty much it if you guys want me to talk about anything specific or you know whatever you guys are thinking about specific I can I always like Debian or the testing based models um, but I've had no problems with programs or repositories that I add file I've had no problem where it's like you know etc app sources dot list that's what it is that's what the default is my surgery for my two hernias is going to be June 21st. So I got about a little less than three weeks to go. So I'll probably put out a couple more videos. I just kind of go with the flow on this, you know, but I've been having a lot of fun. I've been learning a lot. But anyway, thank you once again for your support, everybody. And I'll talk to you soon. Dan Matheny out. See you. This has been a Dan Matheny production.